In this video, I want to show you how you can use custom fonts in your Power BI reports. We're gonna go through how to do it step by step together and also talk about some of its limitations. All of that and more, so without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks, and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So I've had customers that wanted Power BI reports that had to follow strict branding guidelines. And it's not terribly uncommon, especially for organizations. So they might want to have their logo shown in a specific way, in a specific part of the page, maybe use custom fonts that they use, or maybe use a certain color maybe. And if you've used Power BI before, you'll know that you have a limited number of options when it comes to choosing fonts and with no way to import any custom fonts that you can use. So today I'm gonna to show you a workaround using themes, which if you didn't know yet is a feature that allows you to create uh, default settings for your visualizations in Power BI reports. And I covered themes in detail in a separate video. So if you want to learn more about themes in general, go check that one out. So now let's jump right into the demo that I prepared for you today. So here's the reports that I created, which just has some basic visual elements. Um, and the reason is I want to show you how the custom fonts will work across the different types of visuals. Um, and at the moment we have, let's say a requirement to change all the font types in this report to a custom font called Anton. Now, if we go to, let's say this text box over here and we just try to change the font, you'll see that the Anton uh, font is actually not here. And we actually have a set of predefined fonts that uh, we can't change. And this is basically what we're limited to in Power BI. But the font that we want to use, if I go to Word here, is this font. It's uh, it's one of the fonts, the default fonts that comes with Windows. Um, and obviously you'll find it here. And here you'll see on Word, you will have a lot more options uh, when it comes to using uh, custom fonts as opposed to Power BI. Now, if we go back to our report and try to select the font, obviously it's not here. Um, however, the font is already available for us in the local machine that I have the Power BI report running. It's just a matter of referencing to that font. And this is where themes can come in. So to customize the theme, all you need to do is go to view. Under the themes here, you just expand it and you click customize current theme. So here you will find the tab text and it's important that you change the font family to something similar across all of these four tabs here. So in this case, we'll just pick Arial. And it's important that you change the font family from the default into something else. Um, and I'll explain to you why later. But for now, we're gonna go through each one of these tabs and change them all to Arial. And we, if we hit apply, you'll see that all the elements in our Pyro reports now uses the Arial font. So now that we've done that, we now have to save this theme and modify it slightly. So we're gonna go to view, down to the expand arrow again, and this time we'll select save current theme. So now it's giving us an option to save a JSON file for our theme. So we'll just name it theme for now. It doesn't really matter. And what it will do is it will save a theme.json file, which you can open in Notepad. It's pretty simple. So if you if it's an unrecognized uh, file, all you need to do is go to Open With and just choose Notepad. So to simplify all the jargon that is in this JSON file, what it does is it essentially saves out all the customizations you've applied to your theme. And if you remember, uh, when we were customizing it, we were changing the type of font across all the different types of text. That is what's being reflected here. And this is why it's important uh, for you to change the font from the default earlier, because if you didn't do that, it won't show up here in this uh, JSON file. So from here, all we'll need to do is change any text that says Arial, we'll change it to Anton. So, which is pretty simple. Mm. 
Now we'll hit save, file save. Now we'll close that out and go back to our Power BI report. So now from here, we go to view once again, we go to the expand button, we go to browse for themes, and now this time we select that JSON file that we customized. And there we go. So now we've imported that JSON file theme that uses Anton as a font type. And now you'll see, obviously, we don't have Anton as an option in our you know, Power BI report, but now with the themes, if you go here, you'll see that Anton is now part of the font family that you can choose. So now let's talk about limitations. Now, because we're not importing the font in Power BI, we're simply just referencing the font already installed in our local machine. Everyone viewing this report must have that font installed already in their system uh, for them to see the reports with the font that you've chosen. So for example, if you have someone viewing it in a mobile phone, for example, and they don't have this font installed, this will default into one of the standard for fonts like Arial, for example. But if you're looking for a more static solution, you can also try to use backgrounds as a means to uh, deal with custom fonts without having to import or do this workaround. And I actually covered it in a separate video. So go check it out if you want to know how to do that. And that's really it for this video. I hope you now know how easy it is to start using custom fonts in your Power BI report. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't, so I know to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access demo files and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.